hello guys it's been a long time i uploaded my db2 video uh, sorry about that uh, if you remember the last time we spoke about like how we can start an instance how we can stop uh, a db2 database and what are the process which are associated with the db2 instance and what are the process which are associated with the db2 database okay so today we are going to see about the db2 instance configuration parameters and the db2 database configuration parameters how can we see these parameters and how can we update these parameters and how do we make sure that when we updated the parameter it is reflecting back as you expect right so why we need all this uh, configuration parameters right now for example when you buy a car now the car will come with the default settings right and uh, later you can go add on anything to that car based on your need so similarly when you create a db2 instance and a db2 database it will be created with the default setting okay for, for our test environment okay we can say like uh, the default setting will work fine for us but when you come into a like real picture when you are working on a production environment where you have a bigger databases this default settings might not work as efficiently you want right there might be some performance impact and those kind of things so so to control that we have uh, basically two uh, major configuration parameters one is called the database manager configuration and the db2 database configuration okay so today we are going to talk about the db2 database manager configuration parameters and the db2 database configuration parameters okay so on slide if you see uh, this i'm talking about something called db2 profile registry okay now uh, when you say the profile registry is basically you are setting up the environment of the db2 instance and the db2 database okay so any parameter update at this level will can impact your db2 instance and db2 database i'll come to the db2 profile registry later in the class uh, maybe in some other session but today uh, primarily we are going to focus on the db2 database manager configuration and the db2 database configuration and two things we are going to see uh, in that is one how to see the configuration second how do we update the configuration and what is the best way to configure those parameters okay uh, so first on the list is database manager configuration okay so i have told you right um, we can call an instance as a database manager or a dbm right so to list the configuration parameters related to the instance okay we have a command called db to get dbm cfg okay i'll uh, come to the show detail whatever is given in syntax later okay so to list the configuration of a database manager it will be db2 it's a keyword followed with the get dbm cfg command okay so basically it will list all the parameters related to instance so for example i have listed some of these parameters um, in the green uh, box right so for example we have the diag level we have the notification level diag path diag size okay so this kind of parameters are related to the database manager configuration so 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 to see the instance configuration we have the command db2 get dbm cfg okay now uh, when we talk about parameters there are parameters which are online and which are offline so basically what i mean is when we say online uh, when i if i try to update the parameter on live database okay the changes will be reflected immediately okay so the propagation of the uh, parameter change will be immediate and when i say offline uh, that means when you update the parameter you have to restart your database or the instance for this parameter to take effect okay so before going into the database configuration again i want to say to list the configuration of a instance we have to give the command db to get dbm cfg okay now the database configuration so it's very similar to the database manager configuration the same command except instead of get db m we have to give db and uh, we have a keyword called for and the database name okay because in db2 we can have multiple databases inside the same instance right so when we give the db to get db cfg command you have to specify the database name 
okay again um, it has a set of parameters which can be online which can be offline uh, and uh, each now you might ask me like how do you identify which parameter we can change online which which, can, which needs a restart right now there's no uh, command uh, which will which will tell you that it is an online parameter or an offline parameter you have to go through the info center i've been provided info center where you, you can go and check it okay um so basically uh, this is the um, db2 uh, database configuration parameters so how do we see those uh, parameters right so let's uh, see a demo of how this will look in a, a real environment now okay now sorry about that okay okay so now i have logged in as the db2 inst1 which is an instance user okay now i want to see the configuration related to the instance parameter so we have the command db2 get dbm cfg okay so i can list all the parameters here right i'll go through some of the very important parameters uh, now okay so this is basically how it looks when you give that so there are like hundreds of parameters okay you don't need to know all of these parameters now let me check what database i have inside this so db to list db directory will tell you the number of databases inside your database uh, in your instance so i have only one uh, database here so to look at the parameters of test database i can you know db to get dbcfg for test and more so these are some of the parameters which are part of the database configuration okay so let's get back to the instance parameter now for now okay now as you can see there's so many parameters over here right uh, now how do we update this uh, parameter for example let me take an example of dag level equal to 3 now basically this tells you like what kind of information should be uh, logged to your error logs you want more information or you want less information so if you reduce the number by like suppose 2 it will log very less information if you keep it 3 or 4 it will log more information so by default it is set to 3 okay now i would like to update this dag level to 4 let's see what happens so to update the dbm cfg we have a command called db2 so db2 update dbm cfg dag level sorry using dag level 4 okay so it says it's updated configuration complete successfully okay now let's check the parameter now it says 4 right so to our naked eye it looks like the whatever changes we did it has been reflected but it is not true okay now what happens is when we update the parameter and when we again try to retrieve the parameter value it is showing us the delayed value and not the actual value which is in effect at this current point in time so how do we find whether the parameter was affected right so to do that um, first we need to attach to the instance so for example in this case our instance name is db2 inst1 right so first we need to attach to the instance and then db to get dbm cfg show detail grep hyphen i diag so let me not give the grep here just let's go through the whole output right so if you do that you see the current value here okay this is the current value and this is the delayed value 
okay so in this case I, it's an all-in parameter so it has taken effect immediately okay now there might be some parameters which might not be propagated immediately so and and when you give the get dbcfg like the default command right it will show only the uh, delayed value not the current value of the uh, parameter so you might think the parameter has taken effect and I've seen so many people making the same mistake uh, like they will say we have updated the parameter and it's ref uh, reflected uh, on the database or on the instance but when you go and check the show detail it is uh, the values here and here will be different okay so that means the that particular parameter has not taken effect okay so one very important point is whenever you make a parameter change to an instance or a database make sure you check the parameter again using the show detail to check the current value and delayed value it should match if it doesn't match that means there is some uh, mistake or you need to do a restart of that instance or the database depending on the uh, level of parameter you updated right so so today we saw how we can update uh, we can see the parameter one right then and uh, we saw how to update the parameter right using the reboot update cfg command okay sorry so reboot update dbm cfg using as a keyword and the parameter name and the value okay so and uh, if you want to know what uh, what values we can give it to a parameter you have to again go through the info center to check what values whether it's null whether we can use the numeric value whether it's a character value so those kind of things you have to go through the uh, info center for more details on those parameters okay so again um, coming back to the uh, today's tutorial uh, what we have seen is how to list the instance configuration how to list in the configuration of a database how to update the configuration of an instance and similar way for db it will be just db to update uh, db cfg using parameter and the value name okay some of the uh, changes will be immediately reflected on the database or the instance and some of the values will not be okay so on my next class we'll be seeing some of the instance parameters and on the database parameters okay thanks for watching see you in the next class